What's going on, everybody? It's Dave here from Profitable.Tools, where I show you my favorite software to help grow an online business. Today, I'm talking about WooCommerce, specifically those emails that WooCommerce sends out to your customers on your behalf. There's not a great built-in way to edit them, so I'm going to show you how I approach it. Let's get right into it. So just to set the stage here, I've got a WooCommerce site up and I'm inside of settings and then under the emails tab. And you can see there is a huge long list of emails that WooCommerce can send out for you. A lot of them are gonna go to your customer, right? So anytime you're engaging with your customer, you wanna make sure that you're on brand, that the language is the way that you want to actually interact with your customer. And unfortunately, even though WooCommerce is a very established and long developed product, they've decided that this isn't a feature that should be part of the core part of WooCommerce and you need to either either hard code things manually or rely on third party tools to take care of this. I would love to see this be a native feature, but because it's not, we're going to have to take care of it some other way. So that brings us to the product I want to talk about today, which is called Email Customizer Plus for WooCommerce. This is from a company called Flycart. They don't know I'm making this video. It is not a sponsored video. I've been using this product for years with clients and it's gone very, very smoothly. Clients really love this. It's basically the functionality that they would expect to see already built into WooCommerce. In fact, most people that I work with are very surprised that there's no way to do this natively. So this is the one that I've chosen. I know there's a lot out there. I've tested a bunch of them. This is definitely my favorite by far. Uh, you can see that's not free, it's 49 bucks a year for a single site. If you have multiple clients and you wanna put this plugin on their site, you can get it down to very, very reasonable price, uh, 100 bucks a year for 25 sites. So back over to my WooCommerce store, I've already gone ahead and installed the Email Customizer Plus software. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Clicking on the menu option, I'm taken to a list of all of the same emails that we saw a second ago inside of WooCommerce. However, now I can go ahead and edit them with the Email Customizer Plus's builder. Now we'll dig into this overview screen a bit more in a second, but right now I wanna indicate that none of these emails have been edited by Email Customizer Plus. And I know that because the status switch are all set to gray. They will actually toggle and then you'll see that they're lit up to indicate that the email has been edited and the Email Customizer Plus is taking over possession of that email. If it's not edited, it just means that WooCommerce itself will be sending out their default layout. All right, so let's jump in here and let's go ahead and edit the email by clicking on the little pencil icon over here. The first thing that it's gonna do is ask me if I wanna use the yellow template or the blue template. Now, wait a minute, I told you you can customize the look and feel of your emails and now you're limited to two different templates. That doesn't sound right. Well, actually we can still completely customize the colors. They just call them yellow and blue uh, because they needed to actually start us off with an overall structure, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the yellow structure here. I'll show you how quick and easy it is to get that yellow out of there and replace it with your brand color in a second. But let's just uh, take in the builder here for a second. This is actually an open source builder. Uh, it's what Modic uses if you've ever used that software for email marketing. Um, it's an open source builder that's very, very easy to use. Um, we can go through the layout here from left to right. We've got our mobile responsiveness at the top so we can see what the email looks in desktop, tablet, and phone view. So that's nice to see. And then we've got some icons up here. If I click on this icon, it's going to help me see the different layout icons. So you can see they kind of toggle on and off. So if I want to get a good view of my email without the borders, I can click right here. I can go into full screen mode with this button right here, which I'm not going to do because it won't look very good in this screen recording, but that option is there. If you like to get rid of distractions while you're writing emails, that option is available to you. Then we've got this little icon here, which will allow us to actually import MGML. That's the language that this email builder uses. It's called MailJet Markup Language and a new open source standard for laying out emails so that they look consistent no matter whether you're viewing the email in Outlook or Gmail or iOS's mail application. The idea is if you use MJML, it should be more consistent than other sources of language. Now, it's not going to be perfect. Uh, that's another story for a different day, but email still has a long way to go. So in, in general, we want to keep our layouts nice and simple in email, knowing that they might not render properly on all browsers. And that's not, nothing to do with this builder itself. It's just kind of email in general. We've got an undo and a redo option and then the ability to trash our canvas right up here and completing these kind of top navigation items. We have our blocks, which are, you know, if you've ever used Elementor or any uh, page builder, you know, we can drag and drop these in. So if I want to add a new one column layout here, I could do that. I can also remove that. 
just as easy. And then over here, we have the style options. Let's say I wanted to get rid of this yellow. I can click on the section over here that has the yellow border. And you can see we are in the style editor over here. So we can toggle back and forth. The active one is lit up red. And then I can just scroll down until I see that border color. And I'll change it in this case, maybe just make it more of a black color. All right, and we'll click away. We can see that that color is now changed. There's obviously placeholders here for different images, right? Logo here. I can go ahead and upload my logo. Now I do have a bit of a complaint with this section of the plugin in that it doesn't incorporate your WordPress media library. So they actually want a URL for your logo. You'd actually have to, if it's in your media library, go and find your logo, copy and paste the URL into the email editor, and then it'll show up in your email. It sure would be a lot nicer if it just integrated directly with the WordPress uh, library, if, but it doesn't do that at this point. So hopefully there's a feature request for the developers. They can go ahead and add that in. You might have noticed these little tokens up here. They're called short codes inside of this plugin. Basically, they're dynamic insertion points where data from the transaction will be placed into the email. So in this case, we're going to put in the order ID and the time that the order was placed. So that's very nice to see right at the top of the email. Of course, you can customize this if you don't want it displayed or you want to display something else. It's very easy to just jump in here and edit. It does do inline editing. So if you wanted to modify any of this text, like maybe I want to just type in the word number, I can go ahead and do that. And if you're wondering what short codes you can use because that's an obvious thing to be curious about. You can click up here. There is a short code option that pops up. You'll see a big long list of everything that you can add in. It's going to be all of the obvious stuff like your customer information and their order details. But other things that are important, I actually see people asking about this all the time. Things like a customer reset password URL for uh, people who forget their passwords in WooCommerce. Or if a new customer signs up and you want to send them an activation URL, you can do that as well. Uh, so I find that these options are very, very nice for those new new customer signups when people instantly forget their password or fail to enter one in uh, at sign up. Maybe you don't have that option turned on in WooCommerce. So all of this information here is editable. We can change all of the colors, even like the background color. I can click on the background here and I can choose whatever color I like, change the opacity level. There we got a nice kind of salmon color. Uh, I don't like that at all, actually, but you, you get the point. We can change it to be just about anything you like. The only sections you can't change are going to be these grayed out sections here where it says example order summary block. This is a table that shows the customer everything they purchased and what they paid, how they paid. You can't customize this, but you know what? I think it looks pretty good. We can see what it looks like up here if we click on the preview button. What we can actually do is preview it with some sample data. So I'll go ahead and choose this sample order here and you can see how it lays out. I think the table looks really, really good. There is the option to include the uh, image of the, the item right in here. I don't have a, a image associated with this WooCommerce item called test. But if I did, it would show up inside of that column. So that looks really nice. So that's essentially it. Very easy to use this builder. Let's go ahead and save and close this template. We'll go back out to the main screen we saw earlier. And now you're going to see that this is toggled on. And now we have the option to edit the email again, to trash our template, to export it, or we could also copy the template and then create another email with a different template type. So that way, if you added in your, your logo, you could go ahead and just easily reproduce all of the rest of the emails without having to manually do all the setup. The, the look and, and feel of the emails could be kind of set up once and then you just copy and paste it to the different templates that need to go out. So that's a really nice feature. It would be nice actually if they really wanted to soup this up is to go ahead and just say like replace all templates and you could do it in one go as it is right here. It's a little bit tedious because you have to scroll through all of the different emails and paste it in. All right, so there you go. That is my pick for the best way to edit emails inside of WooCommerce. I know there's a lot of different ones out there. What way are you using to edit your emails? Leave me a comment down below. If you have any uh, pointers or things that I missed, I'd love to hear about them. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe. Check out the link below to go ahead and grab your own copy of Email Customizer Plus if you'd like to do so. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.